Hey everyone, in the kitchen with Alison Davis from Wild Time Cooking. How are you, my friend? I'm hungry. Are you? <laughs> we're always hungry, and our crew are always it's hard hungry not to be when, when we're you're in here. cooking all day. Um, talk to me about this. You've already made a white cheese sauce. Well, almost. Oh, we so, haven't got the cheese in no, yet. No, we haven't done the cheese. I just realised that when I saw the cheese. <laughs> so this is kind of like a milk gravy or a traditional like bechamel, yeah. um, which is like the, one of those mother sauces Beautiful. that you hear about. Um, so this is just like butter, flour, milk, and really you have to bring it up to a boil in order to know how thick the sauce is going to be oh. um, because of the thickening power of the flour. I didn't know that. The only way to really tell how thick it's going to be is once it kind of comes up to the boil. So yep. if you want to feel right now, you can what actually feel? feel it thickening. Oh, so yeah. So you yeah. can feel it oh, thickening yeah. as it heats up. Yeah. So if it's too thick, then you add a little bit more milk. If it's too thin, you can add a little bit more flour in there if you need to. Would you use um, skim milk or light no, no, milk, no. or you always? I use two percent, or okay. you could use whole milk. But the skim milk, I think, is just too watery. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So I think. So what type of mac and cheese are we making? So this is, um, I've actually got penne, and I went ahead and just kind of pre-cooked off the penne pasta, but yep. you could use any type of pasta, really. Um, but this is going to be more of like a baked uh, mac and cheese. Kids love mac and cheese. Right? They do. And so do grown-ups, honestly. It's kind of like the restaurant trend now. You see lobster mac and cheese, I think, everywhere. Uh, hello, over at Malone's. <laughs> Everyone I take there, I say, you got to order the lobster mac and cheese. I mean, it's a thing. It is so bad it's for a, you. It's a, it's a <laughs> thing now, for sure. <laughs> Beautiful, but so bad. Right? All right, so I'm going to add the cheese into this. And basically what happens is with the addition of the cheese, oh, we turn the bechamel sauce into yeah. what's called a Mornay sauce. A but what I'm sauce? A Mornay. Oh, okay. So instead of just like a Gruyere cheese or a Swiss yeah. cheese, um, I wanted to go with a pepper jack. Oh, I love and that. So no, it adds a bit of spice to it. Yeah, yeah? so it's going to kind of be a little bit of heat and spice into our sauce. So that's just going to continue to melt. Now, instead of just being mac and cheese, I again, I'm going to flip over and I'll stir that while you chop. wanted to add a little bit more. So we've got bacon and we've got shrimp yeah. and chives. So I thought bacon, shrimp. Oh, you're shrimp, putting it all in. Yeah, bacon, shrimp, and chives okay. in with our Mornay sauce with that pepper jack. So yep. there's a lot of like flavors working there. Yep. The saltiness of the bacon, the uh, kind of seafood, you know, nice little pop there with our shrimp. Yep. So I'm just taking some pre-cooked shrimp and just chopping those up. And we're going to chop up some chives as well. Yes. And honestly, I'm that bacon. I'm de-oiling the bacon. Degreasing de the bacon. Um, so what you could actually do is the bacon's been pre-cooked and yeah. it's crispy enough. You yeah. could actually just actually crumble it. Exactly. I'm crumbling the bacon without being told. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. So I'm just going to put that pre-cooked shrimp in there. And you can crumble up that bacon and put that in there. And then we're going to go with some chopped chives. Oh, Stir this looks good, everyone. Watch, bit. watch how uh, this is all done. Look at that. Uh, I know, love it, love it. Look love at it. that. Oh, I made to make that a little bit smaller. Um, I was just thinking. I was eating a wedge of blue cheese the other day. Oh, love blue cheese. Blue <laughs> cheese wedge. would be so good. Did you hear me? You did say a wedge. Didn't a wedge. <laughs> a wedge of blue cheese. No one um, blame me there. And I was just thinking, how do they make it blue? Um, it, it is mold, It is like an aged process. Yeah. I get that, but is it mold? Well, pretty much. Oh. But it's good mold. <laughs> oh, so it's a it's a healthy it's mold. A, yeah, no, it's an aging process for sure, and you just get that delicious. But it's yeah, it's my favorite. Okay. I'd, I'd love to go and actually just that's one of my bucket list things is to go and like see like to one of those cheese farms like it, yeah. you know abroad yeah. and like see them oh, make the cheese totally, and taste them totally. and everything. I mean. Oh, how make. does that feel now? Let me have a feel Look of that. Look at that. You start to see the nice cheesiness coming in. Oh, yeah, in. yeah, yeah. Um, so that does feel a lot thicker, actually. Yeah, and one other thing I like to add into my cheese sauce is a touch of nutmeg. It really Ooh. makes all the difference. So just a little bit what, of nutmeg why? in there. Um, it's it's just more like rounded flavors. Okay. It's more complex. It just is that touch that it okay. needs. So we're going to take that cheese oh, sauce. Boom. Oh, she's so quick. Boom, pour that all over. Do you put the whole lot in there? Um, it really, you know, just depends on how much uh, pasta you have. Thank you, love. Yeah. And um, then we can just kind of stir that in. Um, season it just a little bit with salt and pepper to Oh, top. you stir it in? Yeah, I like, I want to make sure all the pasta is coated to where it doesn't like burn on the bottom, you know? So just oh. kind of mix all that in there, the shrimp. I wouldn't have done that. 
Oh, okay, well, that. whilst we finish this off, head over to WTVQ.com forward slash Midday Kentucky. You'll find the recipe there. We'll be back up with this short break. Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. And, yeah.